Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Governor Oparanya started the Azimio campaign in Kakamega County, it somehow looked like an ODM campaign. That's where I started. But after learning a number of issues, Governor Oparanya quickly changed this, that campaign into the Azimio La Umoja. Of course, he now brought everyone on board because of a number of issues of which if he was not going to do that, then it was going to cause problem to Raila candidate. Because the most important thing, number one, is Raila to win the president vote. Then number two, he need to get the number in the National Assembly or at the Senate. So Governor Prana quickly adopted that. And of course, the campaign changed into fully Azimio campaign, where they embraced everyone on board. After that, people were asking, what next? <laughs> and therefore, Governor Pranya, on this week, he now extended the Azimio La Umoja campaign to Busia County. And uh, Oparanya is doing super amazing job. Because if you look on the kind of rallies Governor Oparanya is attracting in Busia, Remember what he was doing in Kakamega, we could say, okay, Governor Paranya is the governor of Kakamega County. But of course, he's not the governor of Busia County. That's another governor. But Oparanya is the ODM deputy party leader. Beside that, Oparanya is sitting in the Azimio Council Committee. And uh, that has given Oparanya a chance and a good position to lead the Azimio campaign in the Western region. Of course, after Busia, we're going to see what next. <laughs> because we understand part of Transoya and uh, Bungoma has been left in the hands of Wafula Wamunyinya and Eugene Wamalwa. So Paranya has to tackle the issue of Kakamega, Busia, and the Vihiga County. So I want to shortly listen or watch this short video just to see the progress of Paranya is made, making in Busia County, then we are going to continue. <music> Ya 
angazi ya mpini suku and they are on a wanted list ni Moses Masika nae wanaenda kututapeni wanaongea na ruto eti lazima mbunia na mutezo na musapo watu tupigie ruto kura asilimia sabingu kwa hini mnaweza piga asilimia sabingu inawezekani wa iwezekani iwezekani sibio sibio alafu baba baba na wapena akasema wane mama wachani wane simbo mothers wane simbo fathers anasema kila mwezi upate ni kusako nani sita etupata ngapi sita nani atanipa unaona vile mambo iko sawa na baba akasema ukigonjeka hakuna kuangaika akaleta inaitwa baba care yaani ukigonjeka uende hospitali utipiwe bure kwa pamoja na baba akasema kila county itapata factory moja every every year kila mwa yaani tunaenda manufacturing si baba anatupenda si baba anatupenda anayekupenda anayekupenda wewe anayekupenda wewe huko na mlango wa kando nyingi anayekupenda uko pamoja lakini asiyekupenda now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request you might be watching this channel but you're not subscribed so my humble request please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a new video you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who wrote comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our videos to more viewers back to our discussion now this is day two of governor paranya pitching the azimio tent in busia county and you can see the progress for yourself it is clear governor paranya is attracting good number of people coming to that campaign remember raila odinga is not in this campaign this is just a campaign organized by the azimio but led by governor paranya and the local leaders within busia county and then he has come in with some leaders from Kakamega County and the Vihiga County. So that tells you that this is a full team of Azimio spearheading the Raila Karua campaign. <laughs> the reason why Opara is doing this, it is because of Musalia Mudabadi. The work that Opara has been assigned is to make sure that he's checkmating Musalia Mudabadi. And the checkmate here is matching. If you try to compare what Oparanya has been able to attract, it is equal to what Musalem Davadi, together with Senator Wetangola, have been attracting in those same areas. Because if you see Musalem Davadi going to Kakamega, he will have almost the same number of people addressing in the crowd. The same way when he makes his way to Vihiga and Busia. And remember, sometimes they are in this campaign in the campaign of Masika Wetangola. <laughs> So, to some extent, Governor Paranya is doing a good job and this is a good place where Raila will have no need to panic that the Kenya Kwanza wave might take over the western region. So you can see a number of stopovers in um, Busia from Budalangi, Singore, that is Port Victoria, Gimi, Waseka, Ganga Market, and uh, Butula. There are so many stopovers he has made. That was on day one. Now this day two is in, in Amkurwa Center Business Market, uh, market Center. He has been to Teso South, Likos Market, Angusi, and he's still going on. So we will wait also to see tomorrow where he will be going. But in all these stopovers, the message is vote for the Azimio candidate. The second message is vote for Raila Amolo Odinga. And the third message is to get out in large numbers to vote. So people can feel the Azimio wave in as much Raila is not around. One good thing also that this team has learned is the issue of allowing everyone 
within Azmio to have the space in that campaign. The mistake ODM was doing was to make the governor Paranya led campaign in Western to look like the ODM campaign. That alone could have led to vote apathy. Because remember, we have other people from affiliated party to Azmio who would wish to associate themselves in governor Paranya campaign. But because they make it pro ODM campaign, they were already shying away these people and they're trying to disassociate them from their campaign. That alone was drawing the line to make these people feel left out and not being recognized as part of the Azimio campaign. That was a mistake. Because if you do that, then where do you leave the people on DAP party? We have some people even in Kakamega who are running on Wiper party because they do not get a chance to run on those other popular party within Western. You know, ODM came in and it gave tickets to some member of parliament who are from ANC party and other parties. Someone like Nabulindo, someone like uh, Bishop Kamala, someone like uh, Uyu Butere member of parliament, Tindi Mwale. In those areas, we were having ODM people who were on the ground mobilizing for the party and they were wishing to go through the nomination process. That did not happen. Where do you leave such a person? with the people he has been around him. So as long as they allow these other political parties, we have people who still believe that they want to support Raila, but they saw there was no chance in ODM. And therefore going for the affiliated parties within Azimio still was giving them a chance to campaign for Raila. So if you make your campaign to look like ODM, then where do you leave such people with their supporters? Even until that one was cause, going to cause an injury to the Azimio campaign led by Governor Oparanya. Because these people will definitely start the campaigning your candidate you are having there. And because of that, then people will not turn out in large numbers. Because look at on what the Kenya Kwanza side have done. They have allowed the ODA ANC, Ford Kenya, and the UDA party to fill the candidate. That means all of these people, when they are campaigning, they have their followers. So if, if, if it comes to presidential votes, some of these people, when they are voting for their candidate, because now they have so many candidates, they will still consider to vote for the presidential candidate. So in that way, you see, they will gain more. If ODM was going to do thorning to that extent, then it was going to be a trouble for them. Because their opponent will have more people campaigning for them, while the Azimio side will have some people who have injury in this campaign. <laughs> And you know when someone is injured, he can really decampaign you on the ground just to make sure that you are going down with him. So definitely there is good progress. What I'm waiting to see is how Oparanya will make his entry in Vihiga County, especially in areas like Sabatia, <laughs> Hamisi, all those areas. Uh, upper side of the Vihiga to see the progress there because I know either side the governor or teacher, those people are going to support Raila Odinga because they have really done it, the Banyore side. It is going to support him. The only thing we are waiting to see is the Maragoli side and the Trick side if he's going really to attract good numbers. If that happened, Madabadi should rethink twice. If we need the right thing to go with William Ruto, or if really it is a mistake that is going to cost his political career. But the truth of the matter is that Governor Paranya is truly doing a good job. For example, in an area where Mudabadi has passed, if Paranya goes there, there is an influence and people can feel the presence of Azimio. To that level, things are working well. So in as much Ruto will make Mudabadi busy in the Western, Raila is also making what uh, Oparanya busy in Western doing the same job. Such that someone will be kept in a corner to defend and another one will be somewhere doing a good job of striking. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.